All right. This is it. <laughs> you think the sign's a bit too much? <laughs> it's up there now. <laughs> All right, welcome to the, uh, the new studio space slash kitchen slash production area that I've been building for the last, <laughs> that we've been building for the last 10 <laughs> weeks. And I'm sure it'll take some getting used to, not only for you folks at home, but for us too, because it is absolutely <laughs> freezing in here. That's why I'm wearing a hoodie. And I've wanted to build a studio space specifically for filming videos for a while now, just so I can make bigger, better, wackier, more outrageous videos because it's what I love doing, and this place should help facilitate that. It's not quite finished yet. We're still waiting for some rather large kitchen appliances, like a huge pizza oven and some other totally unnecessary stuff. But um, yeah, this is the new Beard HQ. I'm probably not going to call it that. It's a, it's a bit much. And don't panic. I'll still be doing restaurant challenges once a week. I'm sure from time to time I'll still be shooting at home, um, just so I can show off my, my Nathan's jersey and some of my trophies. But yeah, this place, look at this. It has sexy lighting. Everything looks great, should probably sound great, hopefully. So we'll be shooting plenty of the uh, big, giant home cooking videos down here. But for today, I want to eat something. I'm absolutely famished. We've been building this for like 10 weeks now. I've got calluses on my hands, calluses on calluses. So I'm not going to work too hard today. And actually, one of the first things we did when we got here was check out the local restaurants. And it turns out there's a sushi place nearby. And I haven't had sushi in ages. And they do a 100-piece sushi platter which I ordered before I started filming. So it should be here any minute now. We'll eat it, christen the place, break it in. And uh, yeah, that should make it a good first episode here, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> it's freezing in here. We need a heater of some kind. All right, time to get started. First episode in the, uh, the new place. Looks a bit flash, don't you think? A little bit ostentatious. I feel like I'm in Grand Theft Auto Vice City with this sign behind me. I just walked into some CD club and there's Foreigner playing or something. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, this is a bit soon. This is the 100 piece sushi platter challenge. Who's gonna? We still got the uh, the old fashioned <laughs> timer. <laughs> we haven't upgraded that yet. That's on my to do list. Right, let's get started. It's true. What's up, Benami? Welcome back. Or actually, just, uh, just welcome to my new place. Be sure to let me know in the comments whether you like it, you hate it. You're, uh, you're largely indifferent to it. But yeah, this is what I've been building over the past two to three months. And this place is huge. It's not just what you see in the frame here. So I'll be sure to give you the full guided tour over the next few weeks, like a, a rubbish episode of Cribs. <laughs> I would normally talk through the items, but I have no idea what's here. Some kind of, I think this is avocado actually. That will I'm sure come as a, a relief to some people. I do have a tendency to ramble <laughs> from time to time. But yeah, I've wanted a space like this for a while, just to make some more fun and ambitious videos. I think my favorite ones so far are the, uh, the avocado rolls. Maybe I'm turning into a vegan. You never know. <laughs> All right, steady on, kid. I think those new paint fumes might be going to my head. Vegan? Not a chance. The main reason I got this place is because I love doing those giant home cooking videos we do from time to time. And I think it should allow us to do some, some fun stuff. But for today, we're just breaking it in with a party platter of sushi. Let's have a little soy sauce on here. Just a salty kind of sauce. Not quite as salty as the uh, the broth in the foot challenge last week. Oh yeah, but nothing is that salty. That was a fun challenge, but that broth, the amount of sodium in that, that was no joke. My feet were so swollen that evening. They looked like a, a pair of balloon animals gone wrong or something. <laughs> I've never understood cucumber sushi. Like just a piece of cucumber in the middle of some rice. This one's a little bit spicy too. Let's check out some of this, uh, some of this sauce. It looks a little like cheese sauce, but I don't think it is cheese sauce. Kind of like a, a chipotle mayo, that's what it tastes like. I'm sure it's not that, but it has that kind of vibe. I'm almost certain it's not gravy. <laughs> Only Mrs. Beard. Only she would assume that some ambiguous brown fluid was just automatically gravy. I, I think probably gravy would go with sushi though. It tastes a little bit like uh, kind of like a plum sauce. It's good. It's good. 
Who is that? Bruce Almighty. What a great film. Probably not one of Jim Carrey's finest, but still a good 90 minutes of, uh, of rubber-faced entertainment. Anyway, as you can probably tell, I'm not approaching this from any level of uh, cultural expertise. I don't know what's in front of me here, but I know that I'm enjoying it. I like sushi. I like the ones with the, uh, I think it's beetroot in there, and whatever that brown sauce is. That's some good stuff, it's not gravy. <laughs> Again with the gravy. I never really did figure out what this uh, brown sauce is. It did have a kind of a fruity vibe to it, so if you know what it might be, again, let me know in the comments. Is that seaweed around the edge of it? What gave it away that it's seaweed? <laughs> All right, easy with the sarcasm. I think the ambient temperature is getting to me. It's cold in here. <laughs> How does the rice stay together if there's no seaweed on the outside? Well, they put it in the sushi yeah. maker, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love this brown stuff over here. Shivering. <laughs> well, that's one thing we've discovered from filming the first episode here. I need some kind of industrial heater. Uh, ain't that the truth? I'm starting to shiver at this point. My hands are looking an unusual shade of purple. <laughs> Where have we been going? 18 minutes. We can do this one. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> the towel is nice and warm. Oh, I've not, I haven't been this cold eating since um, we did the, do you the Battle of Big Eaters show? The Japanese yeah. TV show? That shot in New York. We were outside in, in Harlem in the middle of November eating lobster rolls. And it was like, I don't know, minus three degrees. It was awful. I could put the towel up here. Got like a nice little storage thing at the top. I like that, Sandy. <sighs> I don't really get the pepper ones. How is it sushi if there's no fish? That's why I want to know. I think sushi is just the, the type of dish. Like, you, you can fill it with whatever you like. This is like an idiot's guide to sushi, but delivered by an idiot. <laughs> I never really understood the crispy onions. You're supposed to sprinkle the crispy onions on top, or? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know why I'm asking you. I sound like Philistine. Yeah, that's putting it lightly. I'm, I'm not doing <laughs> I'm not doing sushi as a cuisine a great deal of justice here. What I will say is, it was good. I enjoyed it. A hundred pieces of sushi. Who wouldn't enjoy that? We're down to the final eleven. It's hard to tell probably from that distance, but those were some big rolls of sushi. Oh. I'm not sure what she's trying to say there. Circular? Smelly? Covered in seeds? Who knows? I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> Why did we think... You know what we should do? I, I, this place is so big, we could have actually pulled the car in here, put the heating on. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I'm not sure it would have done the job though. We might need a, a miniature thermonuclear reactor or something. At least the cameras won't overheat. That is one saving grace. There's almost a guarantee. They might freeze over, <laughs> but they won't overheat. You're probably onto something there. Whenever I eat sushi, I do enjoy it. I just don't do it often enough that I know what the etiquette is, you know, and I know all the different types of stuff that's in there. This looks like cucumber and maybe a little bit of crab. I love it. Nine minutes into the video, and I think that's the first time I've actually mentioned the contents of one of these sushi rolls. Anyway. 100 sushi rolls ain't a bad way to christen the place. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Baby's Food, and that was... the first episode in the brand spanking new, but at the same time, completely sub-zero <laughs> studio. <laughs> and that was 100 pieces of sushi. Mmm. Ah, oh, look at that. 28 minutes exactly. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Just a quick one today because time is at a premium, but uh, next time we're here, I'm going to cook something very, very warm. I don't mean spicy, I mean, you know, it's something that's, that's hot, so I'm not freezing my nipples off the whole time. Anyway, catch you on Thursday for the, uh, the next restaurant challenge, which I'm sure you're going to enjoy. And uh, for now, Beard and Mrs. Beard, out. You enjoying that director's chair, by the way? Yeah, yeah, I just need a blanket. Now. Yeah. <laughs> An electric blanket. <laughs>
very colourful, I like it. Yeah, I'd definitely rather do this than 10 pounds of beige fries or something like that. I'd rather eat 10 pounds. Of course you'd rather do the fries. <laughs>